Okay, so this is a demo of Chunche, Leah, and Mason's ME-132 final project. Uh, so we created a vertical cellular decomposition program. Uh, so we actually have two separate programs. One is a C++ program that takes a, a room of polygons as input and produces the cellular decomposition. Uh, the other program is a MATLAB script that takes that cellular decomposition uh, and displays and actually allows us uh, to, cre to create paths between arbitrary points. Uh, so we can see an example of the input. So this, for instance, is a room, uh, just one, a room that just has that room itself, so one polygon with nine points, and we just, you know, list the coordinates of the points. Uh, here's a more complicated example. So we have three polygons, one is the room itself, and we have two obstacles. Um, so we can just see the program in action. Uh, so we actually have a few test files, so we'll just use the first one. Okay, uh, so created the cellular decomposition here, uh, and we can go to MATLAB and actually run the program to display that cellular decomposition. Okay, uh, so, uh, you know, we, we just follow the instructions, so we can click any two points in the room and we can find a path. Alright, right, so between points that aren't connected by a line, you can see we, we follow the roadmap to, to find a path. Uh, if we try and click outside the room, then we, the program doesn't blow up. We just don't, we just tell the user that one of the points is wrong. Uh, okay. Uh, so let's try a more complicated example. That, that room didn't have any obstacles, but our program can handle obstacles just fine. So let's run that. Uh, the two numbers, uh, so, so these are obviously the, the room input and the cellular decomposition file names. Uh, the other two options are just whether or not to display the cellular decomposition uh, in the roadmap. So here, the blue lines indicate uh, that these are, well, the, these are where the, the program separated the cells and the red lines are the roadmap. Uh, so if we want to, we can not display those things. Right, so here we just have just the room itself. And again, uh, if you try and click outside the room, uh, then it won't try and generate a path. Similarly, if you click inside an obstacle from one of the points, you can't. It won't generate a path. Okay. Uh, we can actually take a look and see what the cellular decomposition looks like. Uh, it's actually just um, all the information that the MATLAB script needs to, to sort of generate what it does. So we have uh, a list of all the cells, the one cells and the two cells and their coordinates. Uh, and then we have a roadmap. So these are just, uh, the cells are all numbered. And then here we have a roadmap. So just how the cells connect to each other. So we can actually generate the roadmap and display it and use it. Uh, but like I said, so let's try one more, uh, more complicated example. Okay, so this is actually a pretty complicated example. Notice that we have lots of things that aren't convex. We have multiple obstacles that sort of overlap each other. Um, so, so definitely, like, sort of straight line things don't work at all. Uh, the room itself isn't convex, right? We have this sort of weird corner. Uh, but everything uh, pretty much works really well. Uh, again, clicking with obstacles won't generate a path. Clicking outside the room won't generate a path. But between any two points in the room, we can uh, do pretty well. Um, you notice that uh, sometimes the path seems to look a little weird, so this is sort of an extreme example where it seems like there's a very uh, sort of simple path, but it generates this, uh, this weird out-of-the-way thing. Uh, and that's just because of it, the limitations of uh, cellular decomposition. So we're using uh, A-star to, to generate the path given the roadmap. So it actually uh, is optimal if we're looking at the center's of the cells that the points are contained in. Uh, but in that example I showed you before, the centers of the cells are actually pretty far away from where the points are. Uh, so we generate this thing that looks a little weird. But within a cell, though, we sort of check that as a special case. So if we know uh, 
both points are within the cell. Since all the cells are convex, we just do a straight line algorithm. So in some cases, we make up for uh, the sort of uh, sometimes silly paths that the roadmap might generate. Um, okay, well, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching our demo.